Need to get two in this hour. I feel sick. I feel like I'm super lightheaded. It'll be a crunch to get 11 tomorrow. IT band is giving me a lot of issues on my left leg. It's shaking. My knee's killing me. Nothing I don't think is going to feel easy tomorrow. I'm not getting a lot of sleep. I mean, that's why I still do CrossFit. Exactly five hours to the moon. He's very determined. He's very passionate about the state Community's police. what's kept me in it. I feel like I'm going to pass out. My name is Robert Hartley. I'm a law enforcement officer in the state of Kentucky. I have a wife and a son who's 11 months old. I'm also a uh, daily CrossFitter. I'm a co-owner of a newer gym called CrossFit Inevitable. Uh, the three of those things combined, my work life, family life, and uh, hobby of CrossFit sort of what's led me down this path to take on this challenge. We're at CrossFit Inevitable and we're gonna be doing the 31 Heroes Project. We're gonna try and do all 31 fallen Kentucky State Trooper Hero workouts within 31 hours. It's hard to like slow down. I actually started CrossFit just to get ready for a uh, law enforcement academy I was going to. I knew that I needed to do something to get my body prepared. There's enough you have to worry about, enough stress in there already, enough learning curve. I wanted to not have to worry about my fitness, so I started CrossFit at a, a local CrossFit gym that I uh, was in the area I grew up. Based off how I performed in the academy, I knew that CrossFit prepared me. So once I got out, I knew it was something that I had to continue, especially with my profession. Staying fit for duty, I think, is extremely important. I think anybody in a uh, law enforcement position, any type of first responder, I feel like if you're going to work for the community, you owe it to the community to stay in shape. And it's something that I feel like I need to do. He's very determined. He's very passionate about the state police. Very passionate about honoring people that have um, given up their lives for other people, so I think it's great that he's doing it. I'm so proud of him. And I'm exactly on schedule then. That means that if I wanted to do 20 workouts in the first 15 hours, which was my goal for today, I need to do 10 more workouts within the next eight hours. The agency I work for has had 31 officers killed in the line of duty. Each of those officers have a hero watch. A hero wad is a workout in memory of someone who's gave their life and in the academy over a six month period uh, every cadet has to do all 31 of those hero workouts before graduation. A 24 week academy that's about one a week with a few weeks there's sometimes two. Uh, I had this idea of just feeling like I wanted to do something. I felt that for a while that I wanted to do something uh, that's going to push me mentally and physically. Sort of something that I feel like is impossible that other people are going to think is impossible and that I feel like if I push I can do it. What if I do all 31 hero workouts within 31 hours? I got into law enforcement just because I guess it's always been a part of my life from uh, my dad was a law enforcement officer for 23 years in the city of Louisville. Uh, I worked a factory job, uh, jobs that, you know, are good jobs, pay good, uh, but I just didn't feel fulfilled with them. I felt like I could do more. I guess that's just something inside of you that makes you feel like you need public service, so I felt pushed towards that path, so I pursued it. I need to really, I need to do that one and another one within this next hour. I need to get two in this hour. I 
I think having different people that have done a few of these workouts with me uh, throughout the day, like different people coming and going, showing up, the community aspect of it, for one, that's, I mean, that's why I still do CrossFit. I started CrossFit to get in shape for policing, and the community's what's kept me in it. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Today, a big thing I need to work on is in between sessions, what am I doing? I need to be doing active recovery, ice baths, foam rolling, massage guns, stretching make sure I'm trying to eat some in between sessions, then obviously warming up for the next workout. The biggest challenge for me will be uh, just hoping that my body holds up. Obviously for anyone, 31 workouts in 31 hours is gonna be hard, but for the reason that I'm doing it, and if you have a purpose, then you can just, you can find a way to do it. So I know that I have the grit and the determination to want to get through this and want to do it for the right reasons. So it's just now hoping that my body holds up and that I can feel my body enough to where, you know, I'm not getting, risking injury or rhabdo, anything like that. So I slept for about 12.30 to 6.30. So I got a pretty good amount of sleep. I woke up throughout the night just having cramps in my calves and my hamstrings. But I need to be starting the next workout in 30 minutes. I don't really have any motivation right now. It's just discipline. But I mean, I just have to stay disciplined as in this is why I've been prepping for this the last few months and uh, know that I'm doing it for a reason bigger than just myself. So I think as long as I stay doing it for that reason, I'll be able to push through. Oh, f oh my God. Did you just pull you out? Yep. Oh God. My whole neck pop, man. I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just so, just foggy and exhausted and I'm moving at a slower pace than I normally do, so I probably was just more, uh, more relaxed and just wasn't thinking about my cues. I think this is just why it's going to be important that I say slow and steady throughout because if I get in a hurry with my body already at this point, I'm just gonna end up getting an injury. My triceps and my elbows are shot. Still six workouts left. Exactly five hours to the minute. And you know that the last, very last one's a 31 minute AMRAP, yeah, so you know you have to start that by one. Oh, wait, you have to be on that. Um, workout 26 with four hours left. I think he feels defeated, but he's gonna keep going. He feels like he can't do it, I think. He's having doubts and like questioning himself. Can he do it? Yeah. Oh yeah, he can do it. Ridge being here too, he's not gonna give up. He wants Ridge to know like, we don't quit. No matter what. <laughs> it 
as long as we start at 2.59, I'll finish exactly in the 31 hour mark. We're doing the last workout, yay! Um, we're doing Cam. I'm so excited he made it. He's gonna do it. Yay! I'm surprised that I made it this far to begin with because even when I had it set, I knew there was a more likely chance I wouldn't finish. So the fact that I was able to is amazing. Uh, the purpose is what's made me is what's made me finish I'm doing something for a reason to bring attention to them and honor those guys and prove to myself at the same time that even though you know I had people saying you know I don't think that's possible to literally do that many workouts in that short a time I'm not like the most well prepared most well rounded but if you uh, if you just don't set limits on yourself you can keep going and you can find a way to get it done. Thank you for uh, the service their loved one gave, the sacrifice they gave, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to honor them in this way. And hopefully they think that's what this is and they see it that way too. Three thirty. I finished with one minute left. Thirty-one workouts in just under thirty-one hours. Yeah.